Hi, in this video we will learn about quadratic equations, primarily how to sketch a quadratic curve. Now there are a few things that we require before we can sketch a quadratic curve and I've written them over here. The fir first of all what we need is nature. Now before I get into that let's let's see what the general form of a quadratic equation looks like. It its, its general form is ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, what nature basically means is that there are two types of quadratic curves. You either get a happy face or a sad face. This is basically the two possible natures of a quadratic curve. Now remember, this kind of curve, a happy face, I'll label it as number one is also known as a minimum curve. Why? Because it has a minimum point. This point is the minimum point. As you can see, all the y values, so I'll label my axes, the x-axis and the y-axis. You can see all the y values lie above this particular point. So therefore, this point is the minimum point, which is why it's called a minimum curve. And this type of a curve here is called a maximum curve. A maximum curve. So this curve is of maximum nature. Again, you can see that this is the maximum point of y. All the y values lie below this point. Therefore, it is called a maximum curve. Now that's the first thing that we need to know before we can sketch a quadratic curve is that whether the curve that we're sketching will be a happy face or a sad face. Now that is determined through the coefficient of x square, basically through a. If a is positive, what we get is a happy face. If a is negative, that means if a is less than zero, what we get is a sad face. So now we know how to determine the nature of a turning point. So we're done with the first part so let's put a check here moving on how do we find the turning point or the stationary point of a quadratic curve now again let's first visualize what it is that we're looking for now remember every par uh, quadratic curve has a turning point which is basically this point right over here doesn't matter whether it's minimum doesn't matter whether it's maximum it will always always have a turning point like you can see this minimum curve has its turning point is right over here and a maximum curve also has a turning point right over here. So what we label the coordinates of the turning point are the x coordinate of the turning point is usually uh, referred to as h by the letter small h and the y coordinate of the turning point is usually refer referred to as the uh, letter k, small k. So h comma k are your coordinates of the turning point or stationary point and also depending on the nature of the curve they are also referred to as maximum point or minimum point now how do you how do you find these two how do you find h and k it's very simple what you have to do is you have to bring your equation into now h is found through the formula h is equal to minus b upon 2a negative b basically means this value negative of this value divided by twice of the coefficient of x square so what this will do is it will basically give us the uh, x coordinate of the turning point or it will basically give us the h value the uh, the value of h and then how do we find k now k is found through plugging in this value in in your original equation and replacing y with k as you can see that h is basically the x coordinate and k is basically the y coordinate so what i'll do is in place of y i will plug in k and in place of x i'll plug in whatever value of h comes out to be so let's just write it down a h square plus b into h plus c so what this will do is this will give you your y coordinate of the turning point or this will give you the value of k. So we're done with how to find the turning point. 
next is how do we find the intercepts or uh, by the way when i say intercepts what i basically mean is uh, every quadratic curve will have two intercepts the x-intercepts and the y-intercept now it's possible that you may get one it's possible that you may get none x uh, no x intercept and it's also possible that you may get only one intercept uh, x intercept and it is also very likely that you may get two x intercepts like for example a curve like this one will have two x intercepts and another name for x intercepts is roots they're also called roots of a quadratic curve and similarly it's if i just redraw a quadratic curve it will always have a y-intercept always every quadratic curve will have a y-intercept irrespective of whether it's a maximum curve or a minimum curve now let's let's rewrite the general form of a quadratic equation it's y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c so if you're looking for the x-intercepts if you're looking for uh, i'll call this number three if you're looking for the x-intercepts now x-intercepts are basically the point or the points at which your curve cuts the x-axis and we know that this this x-axis has equation y is equal to zero so if you want the x-intercepts what i'll do is in place of y i'll simply i'll simply replace y with zero and then we'll solve this quadratic equation which can be solved through the quadratic formula i'll just write down the quadratic formula x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a either we can use this quadratic formula or you can solve it through factorization but sometimes uh, it's it's not possible to factorize a quadratic equation so that means uh, we have to use the quadratic formula now how do we find the y-intercept now finding the y-intercept is the easiest thing all you have to do is in place of x in place of x now first let's see what the y-intercept really is y-intercept is basically the point at which your line cuts the y-axis and this line has equation x equals to zero so if you want the y-intercept what you'll have to do is simply replace uh, y-intercept if you want the y-intercept simply replace x with zero so what i will get is y is equal to a into zero squared actually anything multiplied by zero gives us zero so this becomes zero plus b into zero that also becomes zero plus c so all we're left with is c so what this basically means is that in a quadratic equation whatever the value of c is whatever this constant is will always be equal to your y intercept so c will always be your y intercept so these are the three things that we need in order to sketch a quadratic curve in the next video i will do an example uh, and we will find all these things one by one to further strengthen our understanding of how to sketch a quadratic curve but for now this is sufficient i hope If you're still confused about any of this, just uh, just hang on. When we'll do an example, they will all be. I'll see you in the next video where I'll do an example with actual with an actual equation and actual values but for now this is sufficient thank you